two. So uh, day three, is it day three today? Yeah, it's day three, right? Uh, team review from ESC Kaz on the English side. So today we're joined by Bernardo from Wee Blogs. Welcome, Wee Wee Blogs. Uh, Chris, I'm going to come to you first. Uh, highlights for today for you. What moved? What up? What moved down? Uh, for me personally, Denmark moved up a lot. Okay. I was never really convinced about the song or about her control of the song. But I think I've seen much improvement from the Danish national final today. The camera interaction works pretty well. And I think Denmark is going to finish higher, much, much higher than I originally thought. Okay, so for going up for me, today was actually, surprisingly, Macedonia. I was expecting the vocal to be not quite so good, but in the end I was quite impressed with that. I think they need to change the staging a little, just maybe have a different outfit. The other big mover for me today was Island. That really went up in my estimations. I was never really a fan of the song. The one that went down for me, unfortunately, was Serbia, because, sorry, but I don't think the vocal's quite there yet. So I'll come to Bernardo now. Bernardo, uh, what move for you today? Anything go up, anything go down? Don't do not do a wee wee smile now. Uh, no, there were a couple of ones that went up. Uh, Malta went up a lot for me. A couple of weeks ago, I didn't give anything for the song to be honest and today the staging was just magical you know and she was it was very simple and one one of the things I'm, I'm finding in this Eurovision season is that simplicity is taking over and actual simple songs are doing a lot for 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 the for the fans and for the press the other one was Ireland yeah, good. Uh, good 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 actually everybody on we blogs that I've spoken to today have completely changed their mind about Ireland you, you you as a team you were not that impressed with Ireland in the first place but now yeah. it's completely changed why do you think that's turned around I think the promo tour sold sold it yeah okay. sold it the live yeah the live performance the first one was not that good yeah. then as he went through all the countries he did Amsterdam I think and then in Madrid it was very good and coming here the staging is quite nice as well yeah. um, and uplifts the song cool. all right so, uh, moving on to Desiree and uh, Desiree is on the opposite side of the desk Desiree what moved for you today uh, what went up what went down and any big surprises I don't think there were really any big surprises um, I heard uh, many people say that they were disappointed with Serbia. Do you say, for example, that the vocals were not there? I actually think that vocally she was pretty fine. I didn't yeah, see anything really wrong in it. And um, yeah, I would like to say as well that I am really, really happy with the rehearsal from the Netherlands. I am from <laughs> the Netherlands. <laughs> if someone didn't know that yet, then you know it now. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with the with the Dutch rehearsal, I think they look great. Of course, they sounded great. Um, I would hope for a small, uh, some small changes, but we will see if that happens. And if not, I don't think it's going to be any um, any big issue if they don't. Cool. And uh, so, two more questions. One is specifically for Chris, and the others is for everybody else. Winning song for today, and Chris's specific question because you are a bit of a bookmaker. Well, how did the markets move today? The markets reacted very positive uh, for the Netherlands today and the qualification odds came down which means the market now thinks that Netherlands has a very good chance to make the final. Anything go the other way in the qualification market today? The market has lost a little bit of hope in Serbia. Okay. I wouldn't say the market is dismissing Serbia because Serbia still has a lot of friends in this semi-final. Yeah. But there's been some drift on Serbia today. Cool. And your winning song from today? I have two winning songs. The one I already mentioned is Denmark, as it just went up so much in my estimations. The other one, must say, is Romania. I'm personally not a fan of the yodel thing at all, but I can really see the whole canon thing work in an arena full of fans going crazy cool. for this, and I think Romania is gonna be really, really up the scoreboard in the televote. Okay, cool. In the televote. In the televote. Yeah, I think that's the key with Romania, the televote. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Bernardo, uh, winning song for you today. Oh, three songs. It was <laughs> very close. You only have, you have to pick yeah, one. Yeah. It was very close today I so greedy we we works always so greedy three songs oh three songs God. Uh, if I have to pick one okay you can have two I can have two today. so I'll probably do Romania and Malta okay cool and, uh, oh that's a hard one um, I already mentioned that I really really love the Dutch uh, rehearsal is it a winner for today I am not really sure yet I am going to say Denmark as well and coming back to me, this is, I'm saving the best bit for last, my winning song today and actually straight into my number one slot for the whole competition is Hungary. 
I think the staging is effective and amazing. He's very charismatic on stage. He is going to scoop up an awful lot of votes. Mark my words on that one. Thank you for your time. See you tomorrow.